Hello friends, I'm Parwes uh, with a new series of videos on making JavaFX 10 graphical user interface applications. So in this video we are going to introduce JavaFX and uh, also we will make our first window in JavaFX. First of all, what is JavaFX? Uh, JavaFX is Java Next Generation Graphical User Interface or GUI Toolkit that allows developers to rapidly build rich cross-platform applications. So JavaFX takes advantage of modern GPUs, graphic process units, through hardware accelerated graphics while providing well-designed programming interface, enabling developers to combine uh, graphics, animation, and UI controls. Uh, JavaFX 10 is a pure Java language application programming, programming interface or API. Uh, the goal of JavaFX is to be used uh, uh, as a uh, to be used across many types of devices, uh, such as embedded devices, smartphones, uh, TVs, tablet computers, and desktops. So, uh, for making a JavaFX application, what you need? Uh, the first thing you need to uh, uh, Java installed in your computer. Uh, I'm using Java 10, and also you need to install GDK, uh, Java Development Kit, because JavaFX is a part of GDK. And when you're going to make JavaFX applications, so you need to install GDK, Java Development Kit. And I'm using GDK 10, uh, it has JavaFX 10. If you're using JavaFX 9, uh, GDK 9, it have, uh, if you're using uh, uh, it will have JavaFX 9 and if, if you're using uh, uh, GDK uh, 8 it will have JavaFX 8 so and also there's one important uh, issue uh, according to the Oracle company blog uh, the future of JavaFX and other Java client roadmap updates uh, right now there is GDK 10 after the uh, uh, update uh, uh, G GDK to GDK 11 uh, JavaFX will be removed from GDK it will be separated from GDK if you read this I will add the video I will add the link to the video description you can see uh, starting with GDK 11 Oracle is making JavaFX easier to adopt by making the technology available as a separated download so it will be separate from uh, GDK so uh, after this, uh, okay, now after downloading these uh, uh, Java and GDK, uh, you need an IDE. I'm using IntelliJ ID. It is so good for developing JavaFX applications. Uh, you can download the community edition, edition and it is completely free. Uh, after downloading this, uh, open your IntelliJ ID. I have opened and uh, I have created an uh, MPT project. You can simply click on new. Uh, project and you can choose Kotlin GVM and it will create for you an empty project now in the source file I'm going to add uh, you can right click and you can click on new and in here you can see we have JavaFX application you can click on this and after this I'm going to give it a uh, hello world application uh, this will be our first uh, Okay, uh, now we have created our first. Uh, okay, now this is uh, right now there is nothing in this. Uh, if we run it, uh, basically we have a main function, we have a class, hello world application, and every JavaFX application extends from application. And uh, we have our main uh, method, and also we have our start. Uh, so all our JavaFX uh, code will be goes uh, will be go in the start method because uh, when the program begins in the start method uh, a separate thread of execution occurs uh, that we can call it JavaFX application thread. So now and let me just change this to a stage because it is a longer name like this. Okay, now in every JavaFX application first we need to have a container also we can call it a layout okay 
so for this I'm going to create a group and I call it root uh, new group okay like this uh, now it's read because why because we need to import this uh, there you can uh, simply enter uh, you can simply uh, import the this by alt enter and like let me okay uh, there is no you can from here you can add uh, import JavaFX dot uh, we need I think stage dot uh, lay uh, no uh, JavaFX dot scene dot uh, I don't know why it's not working let me just uh, remove this and in here and I make it again yeah uh, alt enter and you can see we have a group Java fix scene you can simply uh, click on this you can see it is uh, import Java effects that scene dot group and after this okay now we have created our container uh, after this you need to create scene because uh, we want to add our uh, container to our scene so for this I'm going to create a scene and I call it scene and new scene and for this now it needs some parameters the first one is your container I'm going to add my root after this you can add your width and height I'm going to add for example 400 by 300 this is my width and this is my height okay now we have created our container and we have created our scene now it's time to add our scene and our stage uh, because uh, first we have a stage and after that we have a container and we have a scene so you can simply add uh, stage dot set scene and we are going to add our scene okay now after this uh, the last step we need to show our scene stage dot show like this okay now let me run this and run hello world application now it's going to be built and I'm going to wait that the build is completed uh, now it's building and yeah the build is finished and processing running it will take because it's the first time so it will take some time now I'm waiting for this yeah now you can see our first window uh, Java and JavaFX step so uh, let me just add a title uh, for this you can simply set to your title stage dot set title and I'm going to add uh, Java FX 10 FX 10 hello world application now let me run this again you can run it from here or you can right click and you can run this uh, there is no problem now it's going to be built and okay now yeah now you can see we have a window JavaFX 10 hello world application so in every JavaFX application we have a stage we have a container and we have scene we set we add our uh, container or layout to the scene after that we set our scene to the stage uh, thank you guys if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos and different programming language please subscribe to my channel